year, children across the diocese clutched rosary beads, saying prayers to the Blessed Mother. Deacon Patrick Doluce remembers being in their shoes, saying a decade before bed as a child in Haiti. My parents' bedroom transformed like a little chapel where all of us, you know, have to come and then to pray the rosary. Patrick's family was very involved in the faith. His mother is a member of the Legion of Mary and his father is a permanent deacon. As he grew older, Patrick wanted to become more involved in the church and joined the Eucharistic Youth Movement. The main theme of the movement we found in the Gospel of Mark, the Son of Man come to serve, not to be served. In performing works of service, Patrick found his vocation. I said to myself, I have to do something deeper. But his parents wanted him to go to school and study business and computer science. Patrick went on to earn a master's degree in both. But it was his older sister who convinced his parents to support his call to priesthood. He said, Pat, Mom, you know, he's a big boy. He has to do what he, where he has to go where he feels like he's happy. Patrick entered the seminary in Brooklyn, a diocese where he felt most at home. But a year into his formation, he faced his biggest hardship losing his sister in Haiti's devastating earthquake of 2010. Her death caused serious doubts for Patrick. I thought, I'm not going to make, it, to make it, because I said how I'm going to make it without her. His family at home and his brothers in the church helped pull Patrick through his grief. Later, he would study at the Pontifical North American College in Rome, gaining brothers in dioceses all around the United States and learning through his works of service how to be a bridge for God's people. Now Deacon Patrick will perform the ultimate act of humility, taking his vows to become a priest. His class will be the shining star in the diocese's year-long campaign for vocations, proof that the spark to serve God can come from anywhere. The work of the priesthood, it's the work of the whole church. In Brooklyn, Katie Angusser, Currents News.